Hi there everybody, on today's video I have this uh, Honda CRV. This is a 2005 uh, petrol engine and I'm gonna be changing the oil and the oil filter in it. This is a um, 2 liter engine And uh, just looking at the specifications here, um, this is the two liter engine. This has got uh, engine oil quantities, including the uh, filter, which we're going to change. It says 4.2 liters. Um, now it says that uh, the the total amount is 5.3 um, but uh, there's a little star with a, a number 4 there that says excluding the oil remaining in the engine um, so I'm guessing there is about a liter um, a liter of oil that remains in there and so when we put 4.2 liters and there will be 5.3 in total um, and um, I'm gonna be using five W30 um, in page 345 it tells us uh, what oil is recommended so Oil is a major contributor to your engine's performance and longevity. Longevity. Uh, always use a prime grade um, detergent oil. It is highly recommended that you use genuine Honda motor oil in your vehicle for as long as you own it. Um, now it tells you here to select the proper viscosity. Um, according to the temperatures um, of where you live so um, I'm using 5W30 which covers a range of between minus 30 degrees C and 40 and plus 40 degrees C so um, it, it covers quite a wide range and the temperatures here in the UK are not really that extreme um, so so I'm gonna be using that there uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open the oil filler cup and pull the dipstick um, I use this because uh, it that cup gets a little bit tight sometimes um, now I'm gonna leave that like that so we're gonna get the car up in the air and we're gonna drain the oil and tackle the oil filter from underneath okay so um, looking at the car from underneath um, we have the sump just here and I put a socket there that's the bolt for the oil that's a 17 mil there and the oil filter is just um, hiding on top of this drive shaft so um, we'll have a look at that in a minute So get an oil pan to receive the oil and remember if the oil is if your engine's been running the oil is gonna be hot so be careful not to bend yourself. You could always wait a little bit for it to cool down. So while that is draining, um, that's uh, the part number for my new oil filter. 
That's the one there. And I'm just using a new copper washer on the sump uh, bolt. So I'm gonna be using one of these to remove um, the oil filter and it says here size 60, 65, 67-14 not really sure how these are measured um, but um, they do come in a kit okay so while that is draining we can uh, try to remove the oil filter So the oil filter is sitting is sitting up there. You can just about see the um, the edge of it. Um, I'm gonna put the tool in it. So that's that's where it is. Um, I'm going to need uh, an extension. Now uh, it, it, that filter is not going to be on that tight because normally it will only be hand tight. And some oil will drip from there, so make sure you have your oil pan underneath to receive that oil. Okay, so... That's the filter there and it will have a bit of oil as well in it which we can just uh, drain and then we'll dispose of this filter. So I have my new filter here and I just put a little bit of multi-purpose grease around this o-ring here and we can go ahead and and put this filter on so I screw that on by hand and just tighten it tight by, by hand
Okay, that is on. And I'm gonna put my uh, sand plug back in there. We can clean the area with some uh, clutch and brake fluid. Okay, so uh, just clearing that, cleaning it a little bit because um, we don't want to confuse it with an oil leak next time we do it. Now we can lower the car and uh, put some more oil in it. Okay, now we can uh, top up some oil. So I've got four liters in this can. This is castor oil I'm using. So like I said, this engine will, uh, according to the manual, takes uh, 4.2 liters. Um, but we can verify that um, using the dipstick here we have these two little dots one it will be the minimum and the other one will be the maximum um, so now I put four liters I'm gonna check where this is um, to make sure um, I don't overfill it or underfill it mm. and also some of the oil will go into the oil filter itself um, so okay so I can see from here that the oil is uh, pretty much at the max there with the four liters um, so what will happen is when, after I run the engine that that oil will drop a little bit because that little bit will go into the oil filter housing um, so I'm guessing the the point two the the point two liters that we have to add uh, will make it to the top or oh, so I put um, so far I put four liters so there's an extra two hundred mil I have to put in. Um, and um, and that's that's basically it. So um, I hope this video helps, and uh, thanks for watching.